So hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you. Welcome back once again to another session of PIB 247. In today's session guys we are going to discuss the PIB news from 17th to 19th of September 2022. And in today's session, there is a news hai because 17th and 18th was Saturdays and Sunday. So, Saturday and Sunday, there is no release from the government's government. So, that's why today's session is very small. Only 8 questions are there. But out of these 8 questions, I believe, 1 or 2 questions are there. But out of these 8 questions, I believe, 1 or 2 questions are there. Upcoming Nabad grade examination, which is phase 2, is there. That's why we need to So, let's begin with the session without any delay. But before we begin, if you want to have the PDF of this session, you can join the Telegram channel and the link is provided in the description. And I hope your phase 2 preparations are going well. Result will be very soon to come in phase 1, ka, I believe, today or tomorrow. Or this week, it will definitely come. Right? You will get your result this week. Don't worry. In the meantime, keep on preparing. Right? So let's talk about the very first question which is about Ease. Ease 4.0 or you can say Ease. Ease is a set of reforms. Right? Which have to be followed by the public sector banks, right? It was launched in the year 2018 and E stands for Enhanced Access and Service Excellence. Now you have to consider the following statements with respect to E's reforms and you have to identify the correct statement. So let's talk about it. First of all, why it is in news? Why we are discussing it? Because recently during an event, Finance Minister Nirmala Sita Raman felicitated the winners of public sector bank reforms uh, public sector bank reforms is 4.0 जो 4th edition के winners थे उनको felicitate किया गया by finance minister Nirmala Sitaraman during an event now talking about ease so as I told you it was launched in the year 2018 jointly by the government of India and public sector bank so it is a joint effort of government of India and the public sector banks and it is <coughs> commissioned through Indian Banks Association and Boston Consulting Group राइट right, इसको इंप्लीमेंट करने की जो जिम्मेदारी है वो किसकी है इंडियन बैंक एसोसिएशन और बोस्टन कंसल्टिंग ग्रुप राइट अगर हम फर्स्ट एडिशन की बात करें इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द फर्स्ट एडिशन ऑफ ईज सो द फर्स्ट एडिशन ऑफ ईज वाज फोकस्ड ऑन रिड्यूसिंग द एनपीएस ऑफ द पब्लिक सेक्टर बैंक्स राइट वो किसके ऊपर फोकस था एनपीएस को रिड्यूस करने के लिए सेकंड एडिशन की अगर हम बात करें तो द सेकंड एडिशन इन द सेकंड एडिशन सम न्यू रिफॉर्म्स वर इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन दीस एरियाज which are responsible banking, customer responsiveness, credit offtake, PSBs as Udyami Mitra, financial inclusion and digitalization and governance and human resource. Now you don't have to remember these six areas of reform, right? That is not required for the examination. Just remember in East 2.0, there were some new reforms, uh, action points which were launched. In the East third, the third edition of East was focused on technology which means <coughs> to enhance the technology in the area of banking all right the ease 4 the fourth edition was committed to tech enabled simplified and collaborative banking right teen cheezo pe wo focus tha to make the bank tech enabled to make the banking simplified and collaborative banking right with the these themes number 1 24 7 banking number 2 focus on northeast <coughs> And number three, bad banks. Number four is leveraging finance, fintech sector. Now, what do you mean by bad bank? Bad bank kya hota hai? So, I hope you have read this before. That it is a bank which buys the bad loans and other illiquid holdings of any financial institution. Right? Kisi bhi ek financial institution ka, agar koi bad loan hota hai, to wo bad bank usko buy kar leta hai. Right? And the winners of E4. Uh, which were felicitated during the event are these first winner first position was bank of baroda second sbi and third was canara bank ye humne pehle bhi discuss kiya hua it is nothing new is 4.0 ke winners pehle bhi announce kiye ja chuke hain right now the fifth edition in the fifth edition these reforms uh, have been extended to is next now they will be called as is next and this is next will have two broad pillars number one is fifth edition which is, of course, we all know the common reforms agenda to be achieved by all the public sector banks. And along with that, there should be a strategic three-year roadmap which has to be prepared by all the public sector banks beyond the common reforms agenda. Right? Jo bhi ye common reforms agenda hai, is 5.0 ke andar. Uske alawa, they have to prepare <coughs> a three-year roadmap for making themselves more efficient. Alright? 
So that is all about is and now let's come back to the question. You have to identify the correct statement. Is reforms were launched in 2017? No, it was 2018 when it was launched. Bank of Baroda bagged first position in ease 4.0. Absolutely correct. The reforms program has been extended to ease next with two broad pillars of ease 5.0 and a three year strategic roadmap for PSBs. This is also correct. I don't think there is any problem with it. So two and three will be the correct answer option B. I hope this question is clear. And now let's move ahead to question number two. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has launched national logistic policy to bring down the logistic cost, giving a boost to international trade and making India self-reliant. The policy aspires to bring India among top 25 countries in logistic performance index by which year? By which year we aspire to be among top 25 countries in the logistic performance index, right? That is the question. So let's talk about this national logistic policy, which has been launched by Prime Minister of India with the main objective of reducing the logistic cost. The logistic cost is the main objective of this policy, right? Now this policy intends to bring down the logistic cost from current 13%. What is the average logistic cost currently? It is 13% and it will be bring down to a single digit number, right? Now how much will be the target? This policy aspires to bring India among top 25 countries in the logistic uh, logistic index, logistic price index, performance index by the year 2030, right? And the policy will be implemented through a comprehensive logistic action plan. There will be a plan through which this policy will be implemented, right? And there are eight focus areas of this policy. These are integrated digital logistic systems, Standardization of physical assets and benchmarking, service quality standards, logistic HRD and capacity building, uh, state engagement, exim logistics, service improvement framework, sectoral plan for efficient logistic and facilitation of development of logistic path. Now again, you don't have to remember all this. You don't have to learn these eight areas. That is not at all required for the examination. It is just for the basic understanding that actually on what areas this national logistic policy is focused on okay so that is all about <clears throat> this news and now let's come back to the question so we aspire <clears throat> to be among top 25 countries in logistic performance index by the year 2030 option d is the correct answer moving ahead to question number three now from now on these are the short answer questions which do not require any detailed explanation but yes at the same time, all these questions are very important. Government of India has hosted the side event of International Year of Millets 2023. I hope you all know this. 2023 will be celebrated as International Year of Millets. It has been designated by United Nations as the International Year of Millets, right? And can you tell me 2022 ko kis type ka year designate kya hai? Write down in the comments. It is somewhat relate, related to fisheries. So 2023, which focused on celebrating millets farmers, where has the event held? Kaha pe event hua tha? So it was a side event, right? It was organized by government of India in New Delhi. Option A is the correct answer. Capital. Question number four. <clears throat> a number of government e-marketplace vendors shared their experiences in gem seller Samvad. So there was a Samvad conducted by the Ministry of Commerce and Industry, which is known as gem seller Samvad. And this Sambal gave an opportunity to the gem sellers to learn about the new gem features and functionalities that further makes it conducive for them to operate on the portal. Question is very simple. Where was this Sambal held? Kaha pe ye hua tha? So this time the answer is Mumbai, not New Delhi. Option B is the correct answer. Mumbai. Question number five. Where was the 10th edition of East Asia Summit Economic Ministers Meeting held? East Asia Summit Economic Ministers Meeting, it was attended by India along with ASEAN countries. All the 10 ASEAN countries attended this meeting and it took place in Cambodia. Option B is the correct answer. Question number 6. Minister of Science and Technology Dr. Jitendra Singh will attend the Global Clean Energy Forum meet. Where will the meet take place? It is guys a very important question, right? Because these days the entire world is talking about the clean energy and the renewable energy. And that is why this question becomes very important. 
This Global Clean Energy Forum meet will be attended by Dr. Jitendra Singh, who is the Minister of Science and Technology and Minister of Earth Sciences from India side. And it will take place in USA. Option D is the correct answer. How many PM Employment Guarantee Program units have been launched by KVIC on the occasion of Seva Divas? Seva Divas is nothing but 17th of September, which is the birthday of uh, Prime Minister Modi. Prime Minister Modi ka birthday tha and this time, unke jo age hai, that is 72. He turned 72 this year and 72 PM Employment uh, Guarantee Program units have been established by KVIC, Khadi Village and Industries Commission. Khadi Village and Industry Commission is chaired by Mr. Manoj Kumar. Right, Mr. Manoj Kumar is the chairperson of KBIC and talking about PM EGP. So recently, recently the subsidy in the subsidy to establish manufacturing units has been extended up to 50 lakh. Earlier it was uh, 20 lakh, 25 lakh. And for service units, it has been extended from 10 lakh to 20 lakh. This is very important. Do remember this. Option D is the correct answer. With which country's monetary authority, International Financial Services Center Authority, which is headquartered in Gip City in Gujarat, has signed a cooperation agreement to facilitate regulatory collaboration and partnership in fintech. So basically the question is, with which country's monetary authority, IFSCA has signed an MOU or an agreement in the area of fintech sector, right? The correct answer is Singapore. Option E is the correct answer. And that's it for today's session. I hope all the questions and their explanations are clear. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye, take care and God bless.